Out of the Blue is the seventh studio album by the British rock group Electric Light Orchestra ELO, released in October 1977. Written and produced by ELO frontman Jeff Lynne, the double album is among the most commercially successful records in the group's history, selling about 10 million copies worldwide. Recording Jeff Lynne wrote the entire album in three and a half weeks after a sudden burst of creativity while hidden away in his rented chalet in the Swiss Alps. It took a further two months to record in Munich. Side three of the original double LP consisted of the Symphonic Concerto for a Rainy Day, composed of four separate tracks which together made up a cohesive suite, instead of one continuous track. The inclement weather effects heard on Concerto were real and recorded by Lynn during a very rainy summer in Munich 1977. The Concerto Suite would be Lynn's last dabbling in symphonic rock. It was one of the first pop albums to have an extensive use of the vocoder, and helped to popularize it. Topic. Concerto for a Rainy Day Side 3 of the release is subtitled Concerto for a Rainy Day, a four-track musical suite based on the weather and how it affects mood change, ending with the eventual sunshine and happiness of Mr. Blue Sky. This was inspired by Lynn's experience while trying to write songs for the album against a torrential downpour of rain outside his Swiss chalet. Standin' in the Rain opens the suite with a haunting keyboard over a recording of Real Rain, recorded by Jeff Lynne just outside his rented studio. Also heard at the 033 mark of the song, which marks the beginning of the concerto, is thunder crackling in an unusual manner voicing the words, Concerto for a Rainy Day, by the band's keyboardist, Richard Tandy. At around the 107 mark, the staccato strings play a Morse code spelling out, ELO. The band used the song to open their 1978 world tour out of the Blue Concerts. Big Wheels forms the second part of the suite and continues with the theme of the weather and reflection. Apart from its inclusion on the Out of the Blue album, the song has never appeared on any of the band's compilations or as a B-side until 2000, when Lynn included it on the group's retrospective flashback album. Summer and Lightning is the third song in the suite. The raining weather theme is continued throughout the track though the mood and lyrics are more optimistic. Mr. Blue Sky an uplifting, lively song celebrating sunshine, is the finale of Concerto for a Rainy Day. Sweet. Again, the vocoder is used at the end of the track where, at the 454 mark, one can hear Please turn me over. As it fades out. It is the only piece from the concerto to be accepted as a single. <laughs> Topic. Cover art. The large spaceship on the album's cover, by now symbolic of the group, was designed by Kosh with art by Shusei Nagroka. It was based on the logo Kosh designed for ELO's previous album, A New World Record, and looks like the space station with a docking shuttle from 2001, A Space Odyssey 1968. The number JTLA 823 L2 which is featured on the shuttle arriving at the space station is the original catalog number for the album. The album also included an insert of a cardboard cutout of the space station as well as a fold-out poster of the band members. The space theme was carried onto the live stage in the form of a huge glowing flying saucer stage set, inside which the band performed. Topic. Release The album had 4 million pre-ordered copies and quickly went multi-platinum upon release. Out of the Blue spawned five hit singles in different countries, and was ELO's most commercially successful studio album. It was also the first double album in the history of the UK music charts to generate four top 20 hit singles. Lynn considers a new world record and Out of the Blue to be the group's crowning achievements, and both sold extremely well, reaching multi-platinum according to RIAA certification. Capital Radio and the Daily Mirror Rock and Pop Awards forerunner to the Brit Awards named it Album of the Year in 1978. Lynn received his first Ivor Novello Award for Outstanding Contributions to British Music the same year. It was one of the landmark albums of the year, and the decade as well, remaining in the UK charts for about 108 weeks. The US release of Out of the Blue was originally distributed by United Artists. 
This changed after American copies of Out of the Blue that were deemed defective began appearing at discounted prices in record shops in the US and Canada shortly after the album's release, affecting the album's sales. Jet sued United Artists and abruptly switched their distribution of the ELO catalog to CBS Records worldwide early in 1978. Reissues <reissues> The 30th anniversary edition was released in February 2007 with three bonus tracks, as part of the Sony, BMG Music Epic, Legacy series. The 30th anniversary issue was a limited pressing in hardback book with expanded 24-page full-color booklet. It includes full-length sleeve notes by Lynn and ELO archivist Rob Kager, as well as rare photos and memorabilia. A push-out replica ELO space station is included as well as the standard dual-case edition with a full-color 12-page edited booklet. The album once again reached the top 20 album charts in the UK peaking at number 18. A sixth single, Latitude 88 North, was released as digital download single and as a promo 7 inches single. In 2012, music on vinyl re-released Out of the Blue on vinyl on Epic, the first 1,000 copies were made on transparent blue vinyl and the rest were released in the standard black vinyl. Reception and legacy In a contemporary review for Rolling Stone, Billy Altman said that the album was "...meticulously produced and performed." and showed the influence of the Beatles, the Beach Boys and the Bee Gees. However, he detected a lack of passion in the work, which he dismissed as a "...totally uninteresting and horrifyingly sterile package," and "...all method and no madness, perfectly hollow and bland rock music." Over the years a more favorable view has developed. Rob Mitchum of Pitchfork wrote in 2007, Calling in the string section and commissioning the spaceship cover art may be a big gamble, but out of the blue is proof of how good it can sound when the grand approach works. Axel Rose, by his own admission, an old ELO fanatic, said, Out of the Blue is an awesome record. In October 2013, the album was ranked 23rd on VH1's list, Double Trouble, the 35 best selling double albums of all time. Topic. Track listing All songs written by Jeff Lynn Topic. Personnel Ella Jeff Lynn, lead and backing vocals, lead, rhythm and slide guitars Gibson Eds 1275, Gibson Les Paul Custom, Gibson Marauder, Ovation 1615 quarters, Ovation 1619 quarters, Wurlitzer Electric Piano, Minamoog Bev Bevan, Slingerland Drums, Remo Rotatarms, Avidus Zildjian Cymbals, Slingerland Bev Bevan Drumsticks, Remo Drumheads, Gong, Various Percussion Instruments, Backing Vocals, Fire Extinguisher on Mr. Blue Sky Richard Tandy, Yamaha Corporation Piano, Wurlitzer Electric Piano, ARP 2600, Minimoog, Polymoog, ARP Omni, ARP Odyssey, Hona Clavinet, SLM Concert Spectrum, Mellotron M400, Sequences, Gibson SG Custom Electric Guitar Kelly Grocott, co-lead vocals on Sweet is the Night Backing vocals, Gibson G3 Bass Guitar, Percussion Mick Kaminsky, Violin Hugh McDowell, Cello Melvin Gale, Cello, Jangle Piano on Wild West Hero, Uncredited Production Jeff Lynn, Producer Mac, Engineer Jeff Lynn, Richard Tandy and Louis Clark, Orchestral and Choral Arrangements Orchestra conducted by Louis Clark Original LP Mastering, Stan Ricker USA, and Kevin Metcalf UK. Topic. Charts equals equals certifications